Since 2022, generative AI has been all the rage. In this video, I'll give you a quick introduction as to what generative AI is, and then I'll talk you through the five coolest applications of generative AI in 2023. I'm Saman Bey, a data scientist living in Sydney, Australia. So what is generative AI? Simply put, it is AI models that generate original content. In summary, there's five categories of contents that generative AI can create. This is text, code, audio, video, and images. So now I'll go through each one of them and talk about the coolest application in each category. Make sure you tune in to the end to see some very interesting images that I've generated especially for this video. Let's first talk about text generation. Currently the most popular generative AI for text generation is ChatGPT. This is a model that you've most likely heard of already. The other popular LLM models include Lambda, Palm, Gopher, and Llama. These LLMs are great at text generation. Not only will they answer your questions confidently, but it'll help you your blog post as well as emails to help you be more productive. Anything related to words, it'll be your best friend. However, I think the coolest applications of these LLMs will be in education. For the first time, these types of AI tools give us access to our own personal AI assistant. And this will mean that in education, every single student will have access to their own personal AI tutor. It's time to disrupt all education system that revolves around cramming 20 to 30 people in classrooms all doing the same lesson. With LLMs, we have the ability to personalize education to a student's need so they never fall behind. A great example is Khan Academy's Khan Migo, which is a student's own personal AI tutor, helping them find answers to questions quickly as well as making sure that they understand how they got to a particular solution. And it'll cater to accommodate for the students' weaknesses and strengths. But over this year, we're gonna see more and more examples of these types of AI tools that'll make learning a lot easier. If you're enjoying the video so far, then consider subscribing. I make weekly videos about demystifying AI and how to get started in your data science career. Now, the next category of content that generates AI is great at is code generation. Now the most famous example of this type of AI model is GitHub's Copilot, which is actually using OpenAI's Codex that is designed specifically for code generation. Other examples of these types of algorithms include StarCoder, CodeT5, and Tab9. The coolest example of this code generating AI algorithms will be in developing faster software MVPs. Now engineering teams will be far more productive as they'll make less error, spend less time debugging their code, and write more sophisticated code faster. More complex applications will be a lot easier create. And coding in general will be far more democratized because it's a lot easier for beginner programmers to get more proficient and create the applications that they desire with a lot more ease. In recent months, we're seeing more and more examples of generative music. Ava.ai and Soundful are two applications that are great at generating AI sound. This will mean that more creators like me have access to copyright-free music. So commonly used AI algorithms for something like this include Val-E, WaveNet, and Audio LM. However, the coolest application for sound generation lie in generating speech. There are applications like Murph.ai that can synthesize a realistic voice. Back in 1779, the first model of the human vocal tract was created. This will lead to a massive boom in odor generated ads and media. Combined with AI synthesized video, there will be a massive uptick in generated content. There will be something for everyone. Speaking of video, generative AI algorithms are becoming better at creating video through mockups and text. Pictoria, Synthesia, Synthesis, and Deep Brain AI are some of the AI as a service tools that are available for users to create video. The coolest application of these will be faster publishing of social media content. Now it's gonna become a lot harder to discern what content that you see on Instagram or Facebook is real versus AI generated, which means content creators can pump out content a lot 
faster. There will also be a massive surge in AI tools that help content creators edit their videos a lot faster or be able to use AI generated content as a mix of their own originally created content, which makes finding stock footage a lot easier. Now the final and the coolest use of generative AI is in generating images. Models like DAL-E, Midjourney, and Stable Diffusion are some of the coolest and most popular examples of what can be achieved when AI creates images. And these are some of the coolest and most innovative images I've seen coming out of these models. Now humans have finally created a technology that can actually be more creative and wacky than humans themselves. I think the coolest application in image generation is again advertising related. Due to the wave of AI generated content, this means that products and companies don't need agencies to design them image ads. Instead, they can just use these AI generated tools. And it also means that they don't need people to model for these products and take images because AI can also generate realistic looking people that are modeling your product per se. So there'll be massive cost savings when it comes to product marketing. So that's it for the video. Hope you can see some innovative uses of generative AI. Hopefully you can understand the technologies a little bit better such that it gives you new ideas to be able to create your own innovative content. So if you enjoyed the video, then smash the like button and I'll see you next time.